Well, I get to introduce this man, and he really needs no introduction. He's my good friend, and I thank him for that. A couple of years ago when I was coaching, we had a hard time rushing the passer, so I said, get me Deacon Jones's number. And Deacon came in and spent a couple days with our defensive line. And after watching him for two days, I told our trainers and our equipment man, I said, suit him up. We're going to play him. <laughs> this is one bad dude, real bad. He's one of the premier athletes in the history of sports. Think about that. He had the perfect combination of speed, strength, stamina, and most of all, tenaciousness. Not many men in the history that I've studied have this kind of talent and this kind of focus to be the best in the world at what they do. The NFL would outlaw his head slap, but they could not stop his destruction of quarterbacks. He invented the term sack, and nobody alive has more sacks than Deacon Jones. Let's give him that tonight. He has more sacks in his career, more single season sacks. In 1967, the man had 26 sacks. He'll argue, he'll say it was 36 sacks. And it might have been. He followed that up the following year in 1968 with 24. And remember, that was the day when they played 14 regular season games. The fearsome foursome of the LA Rams was not a nickname, it was a reality. They didn't have to blitz. They just turned these cats loose, man. And they got after you, quarterback, big time. He's a Hall of Famer. He's got a foundation. He's helped millions of kids across this country, mine included. This is a special guy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, at six foot four, 275 pounds, please get on your feet for the great Deacon Jones. Thank you so much. That was a nice introduction. I could have played for you. You could have helped me too. Man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there are, <clears throat> there are a lot of things in life that, um, that we try to accomplish during our course and direction. A lot of advantages we have. Some of us don't have advantages. I got a chance tonight to meet the last guy that I had not met, from Dr. King's staff, Ambassador Young, a guy who I had wanted to shake his hand and thank him for his services because I came into this league in 1961. We did not have a black quarterback, we did not have a black coach, we did not have a black offensive guard, we did not have a black tight end. We did not have a lot of positions that we weren't allowed to play. I took my responsibility very seriously. My responsibility, when the door cracked, kick it in, Deacon. <laughs> from that day, from 1961 to the day I walked out, I tried to, I tried to beat every man that got in front of me. <laughs> now, that, now, the reason I did that was because the commitment was on me. We were demonstrating, we were doing a lot of things out there trying to change society. And those of us who had an opportunity had to be successful. The success wasn't just for me, but I, had, I felt like I had the whole group on my shoulders. I never went to school with a Caucasian guy. The first one I hit without the police coming after me <laughs> was in the pros. I will never forget that. I will never forget that. That rings in my mind every day with everything that I do. Everything that I do, I put that same effort into it. I felt like I, I had to meet the ambassador because I remember those lines. I stood in front of that water hose. I stood, I stood in front of 
the denials and all the nasty comments. And every time I went out there in that line, I made somebody pay. <laughs> I'm very proud tonight. I'm very proud tonight to be selected into this special Hall of Fame because it is special. It is special for the simple reason that it is done by two guys who are a part of it. Now, anybody who knows me know I don't have no love for quarterbacks. I have no love for quarterbacks. These two are special. One life I saved. The other one reaped the benefits of me saving the other one's life. So they've been special to me for a long time. We've been personal friends. The only two that I talk to, because I still hate quarterbacks. <laughs> but what they have done by organizing this effort is what I want every youngster out there and every human being out there to understand, that it's not over yet. We have not completed the task. And they're marching on with what each generation must do. You got to make people understand what we had to go through to get to this point and that we are not completed the task. And we got to keep going. And I'm very proud of, of James and, and Doug, although they are quarterbacks. <laughs> they, stand, they stand very big in my heart. And I, I, I just want to personally thank them. I'm in every Hall of Fame in the world. And if they have any more, I'll be in those. <laughs> Want to say hi to the Bulldogs. They are in the room tonight. Bulldogs were in the room tonight because they gave me my first opportunity. I want to thank them for being here and naturally the Pro Football Hall of Fame, where this is my 30th year in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I am honoring my 30th year, boy, I tell you, it's just like yesterday. <laughs> Football been kind to me. Mother Nature has not been kind to me. <laughs> the NFL could not put a scratch on me. Mother Nature has, <laughs> but I'm still standing. And I want you all to know, Buck and all the inductees, especially Buck, he was a good friend of mine. George is a good friend of mine. We met 45, oh, excuse me. <laughs> she told me not to say anything about how long we've known each other. But I want you all to know, and I want you all to not, not give me a round of applause. But I think that James Harris and Doug Williams deserve the round of applause because they are moving on with the mission. This is very important for me to walk in this room and see all the youngsters back there. The real story has to be told to them. They must move this on. People have to know what we went through. You get to this point. It's not been easy. Anybody in this room who was old enough to understand how it was should have a tear in the eye tonight because this wasn't in the plans. We had not thought about this. This was the honor. The thing was, was to get a good education, to go to a school that's qualified, to get a shot at playing against the best competition. That's all. It wasn't nothing big. It shouldn't have been a big deal. Can't tell me I can't play against somebody. Still can't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a TMI in I don't know how long. I haven't had a TMI in I don't know how long. This is very important to me. You know, having had to get to the pros to play against a white guy. First white guy I hit was in the pro. I'm ashamed of that, and I'm happy about that. But I'm ashamed of that. That shouldn't have been. 
I'd have probably killed somebody in Notre Dame. I'd probably, I'd have probably changed. And every time I think about it, every time I think about it, it, it really upsets me. It really upsets me because I still, to this day, as I stand before you, I don't know how good I could have been. I have no idea how good I could have been because I didn't get a chance to hit all the competition. And I want, I want you to understand, I want you to thank James and, and Doug and the committee and all the people who have worked so hard to put this together, all the sponsors. Please thank the sponsors because you can't do anything in this country without sponsorships. And you have done a marvelous job. I'm so glad that you haven't forgot us. And this must march on. It's such a beautiful thing, and you guys did a good job, and I forgive you for being a quarterback. We're going to present Deacon with the Black College Football Hall of Fame jacket. Uh, let me take this off. We've also got Deke. We also have a ring for you, Hall of Fame ring, and a thousand dollar check. The Mississippi Stally, Mississippi Valley State University. I didn't know you went to all the colleges in black college football. You hit enough people. I'll say that. You had to go to all of them. You know, make one work for you. Deacon Jones, ladies and gentlemen, one of a kind. <laughs> 